artificial intelligence is at the center of a dispute unfolding in Maryland. Police say a recording allegedly used to frame a high school principal was generated in part by AI. It's a wake up call about the new technology and how it could easily be used to ruin lives. Here's ABC's Andrea Fujii. An example of the growing risk posed by artificial intelligence. The now former athletic director of this high school in Maryland is accused of trying to retaliate against his boss, the school principal, with the recording of a racist rant. But it turns out, police say, the recording wasn't entirely real. The recording was generated through the use of artificial intelligence technology. Police say Dazon Darian, who was arrested at Baltimore's airport, had been angry over the principal investigating his potential mishandling of school funds. They say Darian used AI and some human editing to make the recording, in which the voice that sounded like the principal claimed that black students are unable to test their way out of a paper bag, and that Jewish individuals and two teachers at the school should never have been hired. Police say Darian shared those recordings, which then spread through social media, sparking a fierce backlash including threatening calls to the school, eventually leading to the principal's removal. Experts say these kind of fake recordings are becoming more common. It's pretty easy to replicate someone's voice nowadays. It only takes about three to ten seconds of someone's voice uploaded into a tool online. And you can make that person say anything that you want them to say. And there are few options when it comes to protecting yourself. There's very little we can do right now unless there's legislation passed on a federal level. There's any version of yourself that exists online, meaning your voice, your face, or your likeness. Anyone right now can take it and use it to make you say or look like you did something you didn't do. Darian, who denies involvement in the recording, faces several charges, including stalking, reckless endangerment, and disrupting school operations. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.